Welcome guys, I'm Al. I'm Pierre. And this is the Call to Whiskey. All, All hail cow. cow. Today we're talking about another French whiskey from Bren. Bren, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. So today's whiskey is a French single malt aged in the region of Cognac. It is 48% ABV, uh, so we can assume that it's non-chill filtered. We don't have confirmation on whether or not there's E150 added to it. This company makes a big how to do about being 100% organic, yeah. being natural, uh, but if there was no E150 attitude, my, my guess is they'd probably put natural coloring on the bottle, yeah. but they, they don't. We have no confirmation one way or the other. It was aged in French limo limousine. limousine. He, he's our regent Frenchman. Oh, so. limousine. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Uh, and uh, cognac cast. They only pick four barrels a year out of this. So it yields about 300 uh, cases a year. So mm. it's pretty rare whiskey. This is the 2008 vintage and we're lucky to give it a try. Absolutely. I know you're excited. You're a resident. Oh yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look. History time. Unlike other single malts, Bren does not use pot stills or column stills. They distill their whiskey using Olympic sized Chiron stills, which is said to produce a much more fruit forward new make. They are also the only single malt whiskeys in the world to be aged in limousine and exo cognac cast. For more history and information on Bren, check out our review of Bren's non aged Staben single malt, linked above and below. Alright, let's take a look at the nose. Okay. Roses. Already on the nose, it's Roses. way better than that original Bren. This has a lot more whiskey notes than the Bren. The Bren smelled more like wine. This 10 year old is a world of difference than that first one. It's got- it Smells like rose petals. Yeah, rose petals. You got like that creme brulee note, honey, pears, brandy. You get like a little bit of that orange zest. It smells like hay. Yeah, I can get that. It definitely has some very similar characteristics to that uh, non h statement of theirs, but it's just so much more refined. It's also an ocean breeze, like. Uh, I wouldn't say that, because I'm not getting any salt notes. I'm getting more sugar and like strawberries. Sand dust or something like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's uh, that hay you're smelling can also, you know, can also give like a little bit like dust C note maybe. I don't know. Um, let's give it a good look at the taste. Chocolate. Yeah, and like sandalwood, a little bit of like cranberries. A little, just a little sweet, just a little sweet. Yeah, it's not anywhere near as sweet as that uh, oh, non-H. No, 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 this no, no, is no. this has a lot more whiskey characters than that first one. Um, wow. This is not bad. It's a little bit of a coffee bitter taste. Mm -hmm. It's like a mild hint of mushrooms. Yeah, that's probably the fungus I was talking about. Mm -hmm. You're still getting that that creme brulee yeah. pear note. It's it's there. Let's try some water. I can see why they'd put it at 48% ABV because even a little bit of water uh, below that and you lose a lot of the character. There's a taste I can't figure out. You get a little of that melon. I've had that before, but I can't figure out what it is. But yes, I get that too. I get yeah. the lemon. I get yeah. that. The melon, the... Um... Cola nuts. They're bitter. They're very good. It's not a bitter like, ah, oh, I don't want it. It's fruity. You get that butterscotch on the finish. That cream is there. It's a short finish. It's... Uh... It's not very oily. No, no, no. It's not oily. That's why it's so short. Oh, okay, you know? okay. Try some ice. Oh, I don't Whoa. like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> that reminds me of something. Wait. Mm -mm. No. Um, it got real funky. And not a good funky. Almost like a, like a weird tart. Again, with the Bren, you're definitely getting a lot of that candy notes again. So what's the price on this? Uh, it is anywhere from about 85 to 120. I picked this up for 85, the average is about 100. Okay. Um, for 100 bucks. The, what would you price it at? I, you know, I mean, this is a solid $60 whiskey, uh, mm, to be honest with me. Okay. Like the 50 to 60 bucks, you know, and and that's with it being French and the novelty of it being French, all right? Um, to double that, 
I don't know about that. Well, so. at this time, right? Because yeah. I'm sure they're still aging some of these mm -hmm. bottles, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's got potential. It's very rare, and it's, it's French, and it, it it does have potential. You're yeah. right. You know, in the the, it's definitely, it's definitely doing, you know, it's definitely going in the right direction. Yeah. That being said, that's still, I don't know. At a hundred bucks, it just uh, it's not worth it for me for a hundred bucks. I, I don't, I don't know about you. I, I wouldn't spend a hundred dollars on this again. Well, like I said before, <laughs> I've, I've tasted yeah. a lot better that mm. that's even less than a hundred bucks. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely overpriced. Uh, it's rare-ish, you know, 300 cases a year. I just don't know how it would age. I think that, it, you know, the jury is still out on this one, yeah, you know. Yeah. Just, yeah. They're doing good things uh, at this uh, at the ten year mark. It's definitely a lot better than the non age statement, and they're going the right direction. I think uh, I think the distribution and the pricing just needs to get more realistic. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Well, on that disappointing note, our toast today is: May you never forget what is worth remembering. Or remember what is best forgotten. All, all hail cow. Cameroon, Cameroon, Cameroon. Cameroon.